Well, we all know Donald Trump has made a tough stance on illegal immigration, the centerpiece of his campaign, declaring that he will form a deport deportation force uh, to help get out at least 11 million illegal immigrants, perhaps even more. But there's a new associated report out suggesting that behind closed doors right now, the RNC and others are signaling perhaps a softening of that stance. As recently as the Republican convention, the RNC's Hispanic outreach director told reporters, a quote, Trump has already said that he will not do mass deportation. He will focus on removing the violent undocumented who have criminal records and live in this country. Trump has not expressed this idea publicly, but if there is a shift uh, from the rhetoric, it will be really interesting to see uh, how that ultimately plays out. Joining me now, someone who's really intimate with all of this, Governor Arizona Governor uh, Jan Brewer. Governor Brewer, um, would you like to see a softening of this approach and, and, and perhaps uh, you know, someone who's been here illegally for 20 years and has a clean record, maybe they've earned a right to stay, or do you think get them all out, who you're here illegally, and then come back in an orderly fashion? Well, you know, Charles, my problem and concern has always been that we need to secure our border and we need to enforce our laws. And until that's done, we're probably not going to solve a lot of these issues that probably need to be addressed. But we need to go and we need to secure our border. We need to enforce the federal laws. And then the federal government, the president and Congress can determine and decide just exactly what the American people want. I have not heard this discussion in regards to uh, Mr. Trump's uh, statement in private and the comments made by the RNC, I believe you said. Right. But um, I am on the phone every day uh, with the Trump campaign. It's not been brought up as a subject to me. And um, I've sort of been on the forefront, too, in regards to that. You have been, absolutely. Of, uh, I mean, but we do take yeah. it. We do, uh, we do know that a President Trump will have that wall built. That is, you know, that's the big box on the to-do list that's at the very top. We can check that one off. So let's assume that that wall is built and these laws are being enforced. The other part of the campaign pledge was that if people will come here illegally, you've got to, you know, enforce the laws. We're a law and order nation. Let them out, but also develop a system where they can come back in an orderly fashion. Now, the reason people are saying there may be softening is for the Hispanic vote. Well, I, you know, I'm sure that we're all concerned about the Hispanic vote because we welcome them into our party. We want their votes. Uh, many of them, I'm sure, would be good citizens. I think they probably believe in the rule of law, too. Unfortunately, they broke the law. But they need to realize that we do have laws, and those laws are made in regards to immigration on the federal level. And the president is going to have to work with Congress to determine just exactly what it is. And I think the people will have input into that. I, I can't imagine how we're going to get a rid of 11 million people overnight. It's not going to happen in my in, in, in my watch or my time probably. But I think that there has to be a full uh, discussion regarding that. But first, before anything can be discussed, is that our laws need to be enforced. Sure. Our borders need to be secured. And until that's done, I don't think there's going to be much movement on anything. I, I agree. It's a move on point. On the Democrat side right. or the Republican it, it's side. It's a move point if we have porous borders. I don't disagree on that. Let me ask you about this news that just broke in the last hour or so. Donald Trump gave an interview to the Washington Post. Not, year, not ready to endorse Paul Ryan, John McCain, and on Kelly Ayotte said that uh, she was weak and a disloyal leader. Uh, you're, you know, you've always talked about party unity. Of course, McCain is someone I'm sure you know very, very well. What do you make of this stance by your nominee? Well, I thought it sounded pretty rough to me, um, but you know, he's uh, his own person. He can endorse whomever he wants. I happen to be a supporter of John McCain. I think that he's going to win his election in Arizona, and we're going to work hard to see that that takes place here. And we're going to make sure that Donald Trump uh, takes Arizona and keep Arizona red. So I'm out there for the people that I support. Uh, I've known John for a long time. Right. Uh, he has been great for Arizona, um, and with the times that we're living in today, Day. Um, I want John McCain in my foxhole, and I think if you look at his record, you know he loves America, and he will protect us, and before, that's what I'm concerned Before about. I let you go, Governor, real clear politics has Hillary Clinton up fractionally, less than one point, but I think the last poll is in June. Is it possible, uh, could Arizona actually be up for grabs this time around? 
I guess anything is possible, Charles, but we're not going to let it happen. We're going to get out there and we're going to work really, really hard. And I think after Labor Day, you will see people hitting the streets. It's a little hot out here right now, <laughs> okay. but uh, we, will, we, will get, we will get the vote out and we will make it red. If not redder, it could be redder. Okay. Hey, like you said, anything's possible. Governor Brewer, thank you so much. Really appreciate it.